They say a picture is worth a thousand words, and we couldn't agree more. That's why the image block is your best friend to not just make your content pop, but also convey greater context and impact in your designs. In this lesson, we'll define what the image block does, how to add an image to your content using the image block and file manager, and finally, how to configure your image within your design using the content properties panel. Let's get started. The image block is a versatile feature that lets you upload, insert, modify, and customize images within your emails and landing pages. The use of the image block in building out your content is crucial for creating effective email campaigns that capture attention, convey information, and drive engagement, ultimately leading to better marketing outcomes. Furthermore, the image block provides you with the means to seamlessly incorporate your brand's logos, graphics, and other visual elements. This not only reinforces your brand identity, but also ensures that your emails become instantly recognizable to your audience. Now let's take a look at how we can add images to our content using the File Manager. So let's first grab an image block from our content menu and drag it into our design. An image placeholder appears. Now if we click Browse, we'll open up the File Manager, which allows us to browse, search, and sort existing assets, import new files, create folders, preview content, and insert images into your designs. You can even search for high quality photos and graphics that are completely free to use using this button here, courtesy of Pexels and Pixabay. For example, we can type in drums and we can choose from an entire catalog of images. Okay, great. Now, when it comes to adding your own images to your design, you'll need to either import or upload them to the file manager. Uploading an image is as easy as dragging it from your desktop directly into the file manager, or selecting the Upload button, navigating to the image, and clicking Upload. Alternatively, if we select Import, we can link to an image from the web by copying and pasting the corresponding URL or image address. It's also easy to connect to external applications such as Facebook, Dropbox, Google Drive, and OneDrive to select and upload images that are stored there. When we're ready to add an image into our design, just click Insert. And just like that, we've introduced this image into our email. Now, let's show you how to adjust and modify your image using the Content Properties panel. So we'll make sure our image is selected here, and we can carry out several actions, like changing the width and aligning it within the text. We can add a dynamic image, like a countdown timer, for instance, by entering the corresponding URL here. We can replace our image with a new one by selecting this button. We can apply effects to customize our image in the editing tool, where we can resize it, crop it, add text, round the corners, and much more. Using the URL field, we can link to an image on the web by again pasting the correct URL or image address in here. We can add alt text, which is text that appears when images are broken or unavailable. And what this does is it allows users with a screen reader or other assistive technology to understand the purpose of the image without seeing it. Here, we can make our image clickable by directing readers to a specific web page via URL. In this dropdown, we can further modify what happens post click, where we can trigger actions like sending an email, initiating a phone call, or even sending an SMS. Pretty cool. Adding padding improves the image's spacing and visual appeal, while also helping to optimize your layout for mobile versus desktop. For example, once we're happy with the padding of this image on desktop, we can now enter mobile design mode, where we can specify distinct padding values so that our content looks optimally positioned when viewed on mobile devices. Now there's also an option to enlarge the image so that it seamlessly spans the entire width of a phone's display. Like padding, the alignment functionality comes in handy particularly for multi-column layouts where content is left or right aligned which may not display optimally on mobile screens. So finally, we can choose whether to hide our image on mobile or desktop with these buttons here, but I'm going to leave that for now as this looks good to me. And there you have it, the image block in all its glory. 
Now go jazz up your content with snazzy graphics, illustrations, and photos, and watch your designs soar. Thanks for watching. <laughs>